everyone, as per quite a few of your requests, I am going to share all the white pencils that I have. I have gone through all of my pencil um, kind of collection and different sets that I have and pulled out a variety of things. So I have pure white pencils here um, and then we'll have like colored pencils as well as some sort of, you know, unusual strength and um, quite waxy feeling pencils so on a soft side uh, we will also have water soluble pencils and um, yeah so these will be pretty much the three different sections of them to the side here I also have got um, pencils which are off-white but very close to white just with a little tint and again, I have gone through my uh, pencil collection and I have two pencils from Holbein, which are very kind of close to it. In fact, I could pull out, I think I have one from Polychromos, which I also could include, and that would be their ivory color. So it's a kind of warm toned white, which I haven't done here. I'll just quickly swatch it out here and then I'll show you what else I have. So this is actually very similar, but even slightly lighter than the wheat. I'll uh, try to adjust the uh, light and then show you on this paper, it always messes it up. Okay, so that goes in here somewhere as well. So first of all, um, let's talk about, before I do the swatches, uh, let's talk about these pencils here. So what I have is a nice little selection of the Derwent Light Fast pencils, which are basically part of the 70, what was it, 72 pencils. And remember when I did this little video with showing how I put all of my Dervant Light Fast and some here at the back. These are the polychromos. So when I organized my pencils, um, basically they were from the 72 set. And that 72 set, it includes, um, besides the pure white, which is here, it also has five off-white colors. So they're very close and they come with each color group. So um, Oyster comes with the red and the pinks. Then we have the Arctic, which comes with the blues. Then we have the uh, light aqua that comes with the greens. Then we have wheat, which comes with the browns. And then we have mist, which comes with the grays and, and the black. So these colors, when you look at them, they're very, very pale, very pastel. So you can see they're very close to being white, but not quite. So it might be very useful for those of you who are looking after white tinted pencils. So something that is not very striking. And that would be a good thing to look at. Now, let me adjust the lighting. Okay, so hopefully you can see it now better. But basically, here are all the colors that I just showed you. The Dermot Light Fast, I have swatched them out. And you can see that they pretty much look like they could be white. But there is a very light color difference between them. So we have, I'm just trying to find something to point with, Oyster, which is that pinky. And if you look at it, you wouldn't straight away say it looks pink. But it has that bit of a... Um, tint to it. There's Arctic, Light Aqua, Wheat, Mist and I swatched the Pure White from Derwent Light Fast which is up here for you just to see as a comparison and I think you can see that Wheat is the one that's probably uh, you know more towards being tinted. Um, mist is more on a duller, slightly duller color, um, color scale because it has a light very very light gray so compared to all of them i'd say that the most poppy ones so the popping white colors are oyster and then closely followed by arctic and light aqua 
um, but oyster is a very very good color if you wanted to substitute a pure white oh there's a rainfall outside I've got the window open so if you can hear it um, so that's that then let's have a look at luminance what I have here is two luminance colors that are not white but they're very close to white and I used them quite often specifically this pink white so the pink white is quite comparable to oyster just swatched out like that however the pink white does really amazing <laughs> magic when you work with it over darker colors and it just pulls out the pigment out of darker colors and the oyster does not. In fact I tried all of these Derwent Lightfast um, tinted whites and none of them did um, like a big um, color difference as the pink white achieves. Buff Titanium is a recent addition. It's more of a off-white. Again slightly closer to a warmer tone but very very close to a white and as you can see they're all quite sort of striking as well they stand out really well next to them we have two grays in fact these are by Holbein and we have warm gray 2 and cool gray 2 so here they are great um, substitute to a white if you wanted to create something slightly on a warmer or cooler side. Then we have China marker which is this one here and it's a totally different type of a pencil. You have to pull on this little cord. It actually took me a while to figure out how to use it but you can see this little cord so you just pull it until you reveal or like cut through one layer so it just kind of snips and then you stop and then you take the paper and you turn it and wind it all the way around to reveal the tip of the pencil. It can be quite fiddly, especially if the the paper rips, <laughs> the ribbon of it rips and um, not the funnest thing and also it's hard to get a point with this pencil. So all the other pencils that I showed you, they hold their point very well. This one it's quite thick to begin with. Um, it is super white though. It is permanent once it dries. Um, it doesn't really smudge, but you can't really get, get a point, like a fine point with it. So this is a white color. They also do this pencil in other colors. I have the yellow and the black. The black is a, a, a lot of fun as well in, in sort of abstract art. Um, here we have Museum Aquarelle. This is a water soluble, so you can see I tried to smudge it. It just looked a bit messy, so I decided to just write W, and whenever you see W, it basically will be a um, water soluble pencil. So that would be this one here. Um, it actually works quite beautifully on its own, very wide. So if you didn't want to use water, you could just use it as it is. And then, you know, it has the bonus, obviously, of being uh, water soluble as well, if you wanted to. And then the one that I just added is the Polychromous Ivory. It sits very well with wheat, but even slightly less warm toned. So it's a great little option to have a white, which is slightly more on a, um, like a creamy, I don't want to say too warm side, because like I said, wheat is more warmer, um, more warm rather. So that's that. And then I will quickly, quickly show you the other pencils. Just the pure whites uh, with no kind of, you know, <laughs> tint to it. So what I've done here is I used it on a blunt point. I've done some marks. So these are just lines, marks, and then I sharpened the point to see how well the pencil would keep its um, fine line and basically done the lines again. So these are three swatches here and three swatches there. So first of all, we have Durban drawing in Chinese white. Now, I heard this many times and it really is a fantastic white pencil. So if you are after a very white color, really strong white, it's definitely up there and I would highly recommend it. Um, it 
keeps its point very well, fairly well. It also has great opacity. It glides beautifully. So, I mean, I would get, I would give this pencil top marks um, throughout pretty much every category. And um, the one that's next to it is Derwent Lightfast White. The Lightfast is also great. It definitely pops, but when I was uh, swatching it after the Derwent drawing, I didn't find it as impactful. I don't know whether there is like a slight marginal tonal difference, but I felt that when it was coming to the marks, I was achieving more opaque marks than here. Then we have Derwent Graphite White. Now, this was a total surprise because I actually don't really use this pencil and I should. Um, so this is part of the Graphite Tint, I think 24 pencils that I have and I think they only do 24 pencils in that line. So the Graphite Tint is basically somehow they mix the graphite and they tint it but you can see this is a pure white so I'm not sure exactly how it works but it feels very kind of like chalky and you can see the line is really thick so it's a really um, soft pencil when you push on it you get a thicker line so you can see by the end it was quite thick compared to these um, but it is white and it's great um, it has a great when I sharpened it it's very comparable to the previous two in terms of the line. And yeah, so if you wanted to create larger um, areas, I think it would be easier to fill it in with this pencil. And again, it has a bonus of being water soluble. Next pencil, we have Derwent Ink Tans. By the way, here are four of the Derwent pencils and the Ink Tans is also water soluble and it's this one here. This is antique white and yeah it's great. Very similar to the previous ones again with the bonus of being water soluble. When it comes to mark making still the Derwent drawing pencil is the strongest compared to these two. Finally we have Polychromos white and you probably can tell that when it comes to this first group of lines it seems to be the weakest out of all of them and that could be a good thing for you because maybe you want it to be subtle white maybe you don't want it to be that striking so mark making also the weakest I'd say however where it wins is on the fine line because fine line wise it's pretty much in line with the previous pencils and I felt that the fine line was kind of easier to achieve. It kept the fine point for longer and you know that would be great if you're working with detail. And then finally we have Holbein Soft White. Now that's kind of like a different league altogether. I'm not sure what this is made out of. It's sort of very, very soft. However, it dries permanently once it has some time to set. So if you first draw with it, it's almost has that sort of creamy feeling. And if you will go over it, it will smudge. But I found that when next day I remember to check, it basically is permanent. So it doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, it just stays where it, where it was put. And that's a good thing. Now, again, it will be difficult to achieve a fine line with this pencil because A, you can't actually use a sharpener. You have to use a knife to sharpen it with, so something like that. And I know some of you really do not enjoy that and I can't blame you. It's not my favorite thing either because it just, uh, a bit cumbersome you know when we are used to be creating quickly and we like that fast flow of things and we have really limited time these days you know you don't want to stop your process and go and sharpen the pencil which you'll have to do quite a lot with this if you wanted to achieve somewhat of a detail so this is quite comparable to Derwent Graphite Tint in terms of its kind of um, strength you can see line thickness um, I'd say on the dots 
it's a bit more opaque still than graphite tint. This is the thinnest line I could achieve uh, and I had to really point it um, but yeah you can achieve some sort of detail but you'll lose the point fairly fast. So that's that. So I guess what I could say if you wanted a similar effect without needing to sharpen it either try the graphite tint white which is also water soluble or if you want to stay away from the water soluble try the Durban drawing Chinese white that is very very opaque without that softness of the pencil and it's beautiful so that's um, all of these pencils swatched on black paper in case you're interested what sort of a paper it is it's the sea white I think it was 160 hold on it's basically the same one here. So it's black card stock, 220 GSM in high intensity black. So this is one of these. By mistake, I purchased a second one. Not that I ever will need to use that. But what I want to do now is basically uh, swatch them out on gesso. Now, this is a black gesso, which is this one here. Um, it's a... Dina Weckley Media Black Gesso and it's just a really solid kind of chalky black paint. So it reminds me a little bit on acrylic or possibly even gouache paint, something like that. So when you would actually want to layer the pencils of a paint. So that's what we're going to see now, how different they feel layering of a paint as opposed to just going over a black smooth paper. I will be only doing the white. I'm not going to be doing the tinted pencils because there's just, you know, no point and you just saw um, these ones up here. So welcome back. What we're going to do, although I know I just said I'm not going to uh, swatch any tinted, the only exception will be the pink white by Luminance. The reason being is that I love this pencil so much. I use it so much when it comes to um, blending colors with it. So I just want to compare it next to the other whites as well. So that's the only exception. Now, uh, there is a little division I will do. So we'll group um, pencils that are just kind of like regular colored pencils. Then I will have these sort of um, speciality pencils. Then we will have water soluble and then finally the um, tinted pencil. So let's start with the Chinese White by Durvant Drawing Pencil. So first of all, it glides beautifully. I'm just going to create now some marks, see if it feels anyhow scratchy or whether it feels like butter and it does feel very soft, I have to say, that it's uh, so far doing really well. And let's see what the finest point I could get here as well. So that's possibly even finer than on paper, so I'm quite happy with that. It sort of glides quite nicely. Okay, so that's that. Next one we have Durvant Light Fast and that is white. Oh, so that's giving us a nice line. So this one straight away feels a little bit drier on the surface and it's when it comes to mark making it's sort of making an indentation in the paint or the paper. And I'm not getting as much of the color, but I'm getting an indentation for sure. So that would not be great for mark making, but it's great for keeping a point. So it feels like it's more of an oil pencil than the previous one. And look at that. These are hair thin lines. So if you wanted to achieve something like that, that would be a good, good option. Okay, so I'm expecting the polychromos to do a similar thing because they're also oil-based. Um, and this is the white um, 
color white again. So let's do that. Yes, it feels very similar. It feels hard, but it does glide nicely at the same time. Let's try marks. Nope. Marks are even worse than that. I'm hardly getting any color at all. And yet it is really creating a lot of indentation just from pressure. Okay, so then I'm going to create a super fine line like so. That's doing well, but I'd say this line was better. I don't know why I had quite a little bit of skipping here. This one was solidly well, like gliding well. Okay, and then we have we have two more pencils to swatch here. I didn't think about that. Okay, let's do one here and then one there maybe. Oh, I won't be able to do fine lines. So let's just do let's just do um, regular line and marks. Okay, so regular line. Oh, now that's your whitest white. <laughs> beautiful so this is the whole bind soft white and it doesn't let you down on the mark making because it's so soft there is no indentation in the paper it just you know gives off this beautiful pigment super intense okay china marker well that's even thicker line very comparable in opaqueness and then mark making not as precise as this pencil so that could be because it's such a white nib and we literally have no point in here so that could be the reason for that so that's something to keep in mind if you want to create a detail. Okay, so let's move on to this side and we're going to do these, these pencils here. So these are the water soluble now. We have Derwent Graphite Tint. So, oh, this is very, very white. I'd say it's whiter than Derwent Drawing Pencil on this surface. So if you looked for pencil to layer, try this one. But mark making, I'd say the Durban drawing pencil is slightly better. Now let's see how we can create a thinner line. Beautiful.